So this job, we're here to replace this epoxy floor. Someone did this floor 10 years ago, and they didn't grind the floor, so it's peeling off. You see it's coming right off in sheets over there. So we're gonna get this off, put down a brand new floor. We'll prepare it properly. It's about 24 by 21. So today we're here, we're gonna grind it today, get this stuff off and see what the floor looks like underneath it. And then we'll put the coating down tomorrow. You, I don't think you'd use that much anyway, would you? All right, so we're here to resurface this garage floor. We're gonna put our flake coating over it. It got damaged by freeze and thaw. It was done in December and it didn't get covered. So it froze. And it's got quite a bit of scaling to it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll grind it. We'll make sure we remove any loose stuff and then we'll use our repair material to fill all this back in. And we can get our coating on it.
So we used our fast setting two part repair material to fill in all the spalling and we're letting that dry. It's, when it starts turning yellow like that, that means it's curing up really good. That's already rock hard. So we'll let it get hard, then we're gonna grind it real quick and then we'll be ready to coat it. We got everything ground off, everything's repaired right where we need it to be. Now the floor is in perfect condition to put the coating on. So we'll, we're getting that stuff already right there. We got a uh, polyspartic, really fast setting polyspartic base coat we're using. I got my flake all ready to go in those buckets right there. So we're gonna get the base coat down here real soon. Now I got everything measured out. The base coat we put on at a 220 square feet a gallon and I mix I mix three quarts at a time because it's two to one. So I got that measured out right there. So that line, that line right straight across to that other one over there is 180 square feet. And I got each one of those measured out. I got another one there. I got another one there. So we know exactly how far to go with each kit that we mix of the base coat. And that keep, keeps us at the right thickness. Roots almost done now, vacuuming. And then we'll be ready to go. So we got epoxy garage floor we're doing today, 800 square feet, three bay garage. We got it all prepped, came here the day before, got it all ground, patched up whatever we needed to patch. There's a few little cracks, a few little pop outs. And now we're ready to put the coating down. We got it all laid out there, got the flake and the buckets right there, ready to go. So next step, roll out base coat. Broadcast the flake, then we'll wait for that to dry, scrape it, top coat it. This is it. So we got the base coat all down, got the flake in it. It's been a couple hours, so we got it all scraped. We scrape it both ways, north, south, east, and west, and then we take all the excess flake and we put it back. We can reuse that. So now we just gotta get it vacuumed and get any loose flakes up clean off the surface here and then we'll be ready to put the top coat on. Quite a little bit to go on. There's a lot of edges, a lot of edges on this one to cut. Well, with two vacuums, it doesn't take very long. This is a big vacuum, so that one, that one, uh, sucks them up pretty fast but we got to get all that stuff from the edges where I threw the, the flake on we got to make sure all the edges are nice and clean and we'll get ready to top coat So we put the top coat down at 130 square feet a gallon. We got it measured out right there. So there's our tape. So we, we measure out, we measure out each section, 130 square feet, and we put a piece of tape, and that's where we try to drag each kit to. So we know we got the right thickness. And we'll we'll get pretty close to that on every single kit. Hit the key code.